All right, man. I just caught that interview uh, with Hot Nine Seven and Ebro had casting over two times on there, man. And it was a, it might have been an interview of the year for me, man. Let's talk about it. We back. Goodfellas Sports TV. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the videos. Best way to help the channel out. Um, and what really caught my attention when I read the when I was reading the headline where I got it from, and I linked the uh, video in the description, uh, in the source link, uh, in the description. Excuse me. What really caught my attention was like the headline was like uh, Casanova, you know, don't really care what happened, you know, don't have a problem with six nine, and you know, he say he cool, he still cool with him and stuff, and I had to listen, you know, I thought he was gonna let him let him, you know, come back to New York and you know, you know, give him a pass, but pretty much, man, I didn't know he was getting traumatized so bad. He said that. You know, uh, New York had frozen him out from doing shows and, you know, 6 9 trolled him so bad and they was talking about his, his his music was sucking. And and one thing that really stuck out to me is like he said, yeah, I didn't have a problem. We, we smashed our beef. I don't have a problem with it. But. My own people, and I'm paraphrasing, talking about black people, my own New York people said my music was trash, my own. My own New York people wouldn't let me in the club. They were sneaking him in the club, pushing his music. And and I was thorough. You know, I I was in the street. I wasn't a snitch. And he called Hassan Campbell and told him that he wasn't snitching and the paperwork was fake from the other Casanova. And I believe it. He said that New York chose this little, you know, whatever Puerto Rican Mexican over me. And I'm paraphrasing. And at the end of the day, when I was saying he was a snitch, he was lame, rainbow, and I was and, and, and I was telling people, you know that 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 he was trash, he was garbage, he was a whole ass, you know, whoopty whoop. Y'all was telling me I was a hater, you know what I'm saying? Y'all was telling me my gar my music was garbage. Y'all wouldn't give me a show for a whole year. Y'all put uh uh, uh y'all put the other over the brother, you know what I'm saying? And what he was saying was, like I'm cool. Now that everybody see that he a snitch, I buried the hatchet with him. I already made my peace because when I was suffering for that whole entire year, while New York was pushing him, while the only people he said that was supporting him, talking about, you know, 6 9 was a snitch, was Nipsey, YG, and the West Coast. He said that it made him want to be from the West Coast. He was saying it jokingly. He said because they was the only ones that was saying Takashi 6 9 was a snitch, and they was the only ones not messing with him. You know what I'm saying? He said that made me want to come out there. He said the whole East Coast 6 9 I couldn't get a show in. He got him banned from the Barclays Center. He's still banned. You know? And he said that the trolling was bad. He said that he was entertaining. He said that he would go check and see, you know, what he was doing, even though he was his adversary and they was beefing. He said when they squashed the beef, he said when they squashed the beef. He said he wasn't talking like blood and all that. He said he was proper. He said, you know what? He said he talked to him. He kept it 100. He said, it's a fucking kid. And a lot of they, a lot of they beef came from, it was competition. You know what I'm saying? Casanova was trying to find his way through the rap scene. And 6 9 he said, it just came out of nowhere. And New York got to fucking with him. And he was the other. He was a square. He had rainbow hair. And Casanova couldn't really fan him like, why they fucking with him and they not fucking with me? I'm the prototypical Brooklyn rapper. You know what I'm saying? I'm the prototypical New York City rapper. You know what? I I I, I did it. I did it in the streets. You know what? I did it in the streets. I got street cred. I went to jail. I handled my business. I conduct myself. Y'all gonna take this rainbow here wearing dude and, and put him on top and push his music and all that shit. Like he said at this point that Everybody basically got what they deserve. He said, when I was saying it, he said, I wish all these people saying that he was a snitch and he was a rat. Now nah, I would have spoke up then. He said, I wish a goat or, you know, OG rapper would have came and killed this buzz and said, you know, you know, I, you know, fuck six, nine. I fuck with Casanova. And I said for him, Jay-Z didn't say it. Fat Joe didn't say it, even though he from the Bronx, you know, uh, and he was really talking about a, a New York City goat. Rakim was saying it, but once again, a lot of them dudes already didn't want that attention. They didn't want six nine 
to, to make them famous and they didn't want to get caught up in that ignorant tornado. So I understood why they stayed up out of it. And most people already knew he was the feds. You know, Jay knew he was the feds. You know, Cam and Jim Jones knew he was the feds. You know what I'm saying? So I understood and I believe he understood now, but you know now that that people say, oh, he's snitching. I ain't messing with 6 9 He said, I'm he cool. He said, I made my piece. When we buried the hatchet and I seen it was a kid, he was a kid, and, and he really wasn't about it. He said, I made my piece. But when I was identifying and telling everybody he was a snitch and he was a square, he was a lame, y'all said Cass was hating and all that. Bro, I felt this nigga pain, bro, because from day one, I said this shit didn't sound right. This shit didn't sound Anybody with street credibility would have knew that. But the crazy thing about it is, once again, we always letting these dudes come into our culture and put them above our people. We let, you know, white people, Mexican, Hispanics come into the hip hop community and we put them on a pedestal. We make them rich. We make them famous. And they exploit us in like 6 9 hurt them. And he said the rest of the Trey 9 members, 9 Trey members, excuse me, he said, I don't feel bad for them. He said, ain't nobody going to touch 6 9 when he get out. Who going to touch a federal uh, informant? Who going to kill a federal informant? Who going to jail for, for the non trade guys? He said they was bums to begin with. And he said they was doomed before 6 9 because it was they was they had a, a dude that was an informant that was that was with them before that. Watch the interview. He talked about it at the end. He said it was a they already had an informant plant before 6 9 went there. So he said at the end of the day, ain't nobody about to kill over them crusty bum niggas. Ain't nobody about to throw they, they life away or be facing the needle or 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 getting you know the lethal injection killing six nine he a federal witness he said everybody talking about oh they gonna do something to six nine he said man that shit ain't gonna anybody gonna touch no federal no federal uh witness and he right once they see his time get cut down he walk right out there anybody gonna do shit to him but he said man the reason why he got no problem he said because i said it before and everybody went against the grain so they got to live with they got to live with that he said new york went against the grain so bad at me for, for this puerto rican or mexican dude whatever the fuck he is he said, man, I'm cool. I don't have a problem with him. You know what I'm saying? He stay over there. I stay over, I stay over there. He said, because they froze me out. They hold me. They My own city that, that I supported and that's supposed to support me, they threw me up under. I couldn't, they, the DJs won't mess with me. I couldn't get shows. So it is what it is. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email.